Hello guys, so uh, in my previous videos uh, I did unboxing of this Lenovo ThinkPad S340 and uh, we did the initial setup and everything after which I told you that my ultimate plan is to put an NVMe SSD into its slot and uh, this video is mostly focused to find out uh, whether we have a M key slot or B key slot that is supported by this laptop and also to pry it open since this is a laptop that I purchased uh, yesterday itself I'm also quite nervous to open it up but uh, let's see how this drill goes and as far as I can see there are uh, one two three four and three here three here so there are total uh, 10 screws that are keeping the back panel uh, connected to the main body and uh, my expectation is if I remove these screws maybe I'll have to put my nails or something here to pry it open and this back panel must come out so uh, let us see how this thing goes <clears throat> so I'll try to start with the uh, one of the screws here to see okay it responded with a little force that's a good sign that's a good sign Let's see how this thing goes. Uh, so guys, I have taken out uh, most of the screws of this laptop and uh, there are three screws that I have unscrewed but I don't know why they are not coming out of the socket. So I'll see as it goes and some of the tools that I have used to get this thing out are uh, this is a pretty basic or um, standard prying tool uh, kit that you'll get out, get it on Amazon and probably that will cut the skin here and now my idea is to find some air gap or some gap here in which I can put my prying tool and see if it is responding okay uh, so you can see I'm getting some traction here and I'll do one thing I'll put one of my tool here and I'll continue prying this out so this should come like a Lego uh, one thing to remember guys here is be as gentle as you can be because sometime there is a latch like connection here which are very fragile and which can break so if the case is not responding and uh, if it is not opening up with the initial pressure you have to be very gentle with the pressure because I have broken up my panel like this earlier so that's just an advice so as I see uh, panel on this side is not responding well so I'll try to put my tool inside and let us see how this thing pops it out so I'll do the same from here as well. Also you have to be careful that you don't damage the underlying electronics. So guys I feel I have taken out this back panel mostly. Okay. Voila. Uh, this is okay. Probably this these strips were the reasons I was not able to take these screws out. And uh, I think yeah these are three stuck tools uh, sorry uh, stuck um, nuts here so one two and three and as you can see there is a little uh, uh, gasket type thing here which was preventing these nuts from coming out and there is this uh, I think metallic tape strip here so except that everything is good here okay so that's done and yeah uh, the first thing when you open up your laptop is you have to make sure that you disconnect the power from the battery uh, that will uh, at least help you not frying out your circuit or damaging it untowardly uh, let us see how we can unscrew it or we can take the battery connection out I believe this also should be a connector of some sort by the way, uh, 
what we are looking at okay we don't even have to do that i just realized uh, however if we have to do that this is the connector that we'll have to uh, take out uh, but one thing i noticed that uh, uh, if you can see this slot this is the slot that we want to work with this is uh, uh, a slot for the ssd and as i can see here there is only one notch so this is a m key slot that means we can put up our uh, nvme ssd here and as I have gone through the specs of this laptop, the maximum uh, SSD that I can put in this laptop as per the manufacturer is of uh, 256 GB. And uh, yeah, so after this probably uh, I'll uh, buy Samsung uh, 970 EVO plus 256 GB SSD for this and I'll put it in this slot. Only thing is once you put your SSD in this slot, you'll have to screw a nut here and uh, as i see this mm, this even this nut is also the standard size of what we have here so that would not be a problem however it would be good to see the electronics here this is a battery pack that's the connection to the battery now one thing that i'm more interested in this is to know where is the ram slot in this jc so this is our hard disk for sure and i believe under this should be our RAM slot maybe maybe not I'm not sure here and let's see uh, so if there are two RAM slot and we can expand it so I believe probably this should be the slot here let us see Um, no, I'm not sure about this one. So I believe if I'm not sure, I should not touch it. Okay, guys. So as I was telling, uh, we shouldn't be touching the circuit very much. And uh, uh, I believe this is probably where I can put the additional RAM. But um, I'm not sure. And uh, if I can show you how this thing is clipped. Probably that will explain what is the difficulty here. Uh, okay, so I'll try to explain. Let us see. Okay, um, if you can see these clips are here, okay, and there are some smaller clips here and here, and all these clip numbering you can see there are more clips uh, surrounding this uh, particular metal box and uh, if i try to open up these clips i don't think i have the required tool that uh, can handle this thing and can keep it intact i'm afraid that i might break it up and i'm also not very sure that this is where the ram resides is it might happen it might be underneath this pcb but as of now i'm not sure uh, so we can do one thing since i was only concerned with the ssd here and that i know that i'm going to put here and I'm going to latch a nut here to lock in my SSD. So this is confirmed that this supports NVMe SSD. Idea uh, IdeaPad uh, S340 supports NVMe SSD. And uh, yeah, uh, and, and, and in general, if you want ever to replace your hard disk, uh, this is the nut that you would open, and this is the nut that you would open. And uh, you can just pull it out from here. And probably there is a cover here, extra metal cover inside which your hard disk will reside and uh, this is our battery so in case if you want to replace your battery uh, this is one nut that I would open and this is another one and I think yeah this is the third nut that I'll open up and before that I'll have to disconnect my this battery connector here and uh, which I believe is a Lego style connector I just don't want to push too much force here because that is not what I'm concerned with as of now and uh, this is your heat sink and uh, that is connected to the fan and in case if you want to replace the fan there is one nut here and there is one nut here and this wire is connected to your display that uh, is connected here and most probably you can take it out like any other connector and to take out the heat sink you have to take one two and three these three nuts out yeah so um all in all that is pretty much it and uh, I'll just put back this laptop and uh, let us see after that if it starts or not. Okay, guys. So, um, well, I have uh, put I have put on my back panel on the laptop and 
yeah all the nuts are intact it was a uh, pretty easy fix and uh, let us see if I can start my laptop uh, now or not and if there are any error reported by the laptop so one thing that I made sure was I did shut down my machine before I started with this so okay the light did come up and the screen pops let us see if I get some error or not okay Lenovo logo that's going good and okay one more thing uh, well the screw head that I have used to uh, open up these nuts uh, I'm not sure about uh, the number here but as I see on this head the number is CRVT5 so if you are curious what kind of nuts are used here so that is at CRVT5 and other than that uh, these are I don't know what you call but you can use this to play guitar I, I'm, I'm not sure what are they called but this is the prying tool mostly that I have used other than that uh, these are some flat tools so that is pretty much it and now I'm anxiously waiting for the password screen to come up okay so after some anxious wait my computer has come up and it's working on some feature completion however I would like to tell you that this feature update or the software software update that it is doing currently is uh, not due to opening up of the laptop but uh, there were some updates that were pending after the initial setup that I did not install and uh, that is what is going on here also my laptop is running on low battery as I remember before the shutdown it was almost 10% or something yeah uh, in general in, in one day that I have used I can tell you that for my nominal use um, mostly watching videos and browsing the internet it has given me almost uh, something around 6 or 6 plus hours of backup that's pretty neat however uh, I'm, I'll test it further with my softwares and uh, other add-ons how it performs then okay so guys we have got our uh, login screen and uh, so yeah that's our screen and laptop is still working so that will be it guys and if you have any question do message me I'll uh, try to respond and that is it from my side bye bye guys thank you